Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and uh, today uh, this tutorial is my first tutorial in Swish Max. Um, it's a very basic simple tutorial people. Uh, it's a photo gallery in Swish Max. Uh, this photo gallery will advance when you click the left or the right buttons also will advance if you hit the left or the right arrow keys on the keyboard. So it has that dual functionality it's keyboard controlled and it's controlled via the left and the right buttons let me show you a preview so I'm gonna say a file test uh, SWF in flash player okay and uh, this people is the Swift file okay and as I said these are the two uh, buttons responsible for advancing to the next or the previous picture uh, let me click on this one to bring up the next picture the third picture the first second third first second third etc so it loops from the first to the second second or the third back to the first second to the third first to the second to the third to the first to the second to the third to the first that way and uh, in the reverse order as well so that's pretty cool and uh, I told you that uh, we can control it via the keyboard also using the left and the right arrow keys so that's it so I'm pressing the the right uh, arrow key right now and this is the left arrow key right now that's very good so it's looping it's uh, you know advancing uh, through the three pictures that I've used well, let me bring up the uh, swish max uh, back out here now people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reconstruct this uh, you know this gallery once again and uh, we'll do everything from scratch including the action script uh, or should I say swish script okay so um, yes before I actually start uh, the tutorial and explain how uh, things happen I have a I have something to say about swish max uh, Swish Max is is an unsung hero. It's probably one of the best softwares around to create a Swift file. Um, you know, by default, we think that uh, one of the best softwares for creating a picture gallery or creating a Swift file is actually Flash Pro, but that's not true. Um, yes, uh, a Flash Pro is is a comp it's more of a complete software it has a lot of functionalities but you see uh, the most common functionalities the most basic fun functionalities um, are actually done easier and faster and uh, with a lot of uh, dramatic effects in Swish Max not in Flash Pro the more I use uh, Swish the more I'm convinced that it's a better tool than Flash Pro for most basic tasks right so uh, let me say a file and a new right uh, people let me get in the assets and uh, just before that let me uh, click out here on this button which says movie properties and let me make sure that the width and the height are 600 by 450 I'm happy to keep the frame rate at 25 let me change the background color to let's say black All right and uh, yep that should be good enough and next I need to get in the pictures there are a lot of places I can go and get the pictures or import the pictures in uh, one of them is this icon out here I can just click on this icon see inside the SM4 folder which is Swish Max 4 folder I have yet another folder the assets folder where I'm actually storing all my assets <coughs> it's um, the three pictures in question plus the uh, the right arrow key and the left arrow key these are PNG images so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all five pictures like this drawing an area around them and uh, I'm gonna say open okay let me get the tint box and the align box out of the view for the moment okay uh, have a look out here now each and every picture including the two buttons have placed themselves on a separate layer this is the timeline okay and these are different layers if uh, you guys are used to flash pro uh, you know swish max uh, is uh, 
more or less uh, has the same look okay so these are the layers and this is the timeline people what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make sure that you know all the pictures and all the assets are selected so I'm gonna come here on the stage I'm gonna say control A to make sure everything is selected and uh, through the Alliance uh, tool if you don't have the Alliance tool open people you can just go to window and uh, you can get it from here there it is or uh, the shortcut is control K so I'm gonna make sure that I align everything horizontally centrally as well as uh, vertically centrally and then what I need to do is as far as the you know two buttons are concerned let me click on them one by one actually and just drag it using the arrow keys All right too close to the left edge I'm gonna click on the other button I'm gonna drag it to the right edge you're right that's that's uh, good enough okay so let me save the file up first <laughs> let me um, call it uh, reconstruction re -cons okay and uh, it's a sweep it's a SWI file guys if, if you're used to uh, you know right so I'm sorry it probably was cut out uh, of the view so you can see out here it's a SWI file and I've called it uh, reconstruction and let me save it outside the assets folder cool so so far let me just uh, expand this area on the left hand side let me drag this uh, tent box out here okay let me also expand the stage like so <coughs> okay so so far all that we have done is uh, the two buttons prev.png next.png uh, and the three pictures th 1.jpg 2.jpg 3.jpg have been pulled inside swishmax 4 right now the next step uh, that i need to do is and people make sure that the the buttons you know the buttons the prev and the next buttons are on you know they have the topmost layer that's important otherwise they'll hide themselves behind the pictures okay next what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both these button structures and actually going to convert them to buttons so I'm going to right click, I'm going to say convert and convert to a button. Likewise, let me select the one on the left, right click and say convert and convert this one to a button as well. Okay, now they're actually truly buttons. Cool. <coughs> Next, uh, what I need to do is uh, I need to place these three pictures uh, on separate frames and uh, have a look how I actually do that for I'm gonna select the first picture 1.jpg I'm gonna right click on the very first uh, frame and I'm gonna say place that will actually place the first picture on the first frame cool but I'm gonna immediately remove it on the second frame so I'm gonna say right click and I'm gonna say remove that will make sure that the first picture does not extend up to the second frame cool as far as the second picture is concerned people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it on the second frame not the first I'm gonna right click on the second frame I'm gonna say place right but I'm gonna remove it on the third frame so right click on the third frame and say remove cool and as far as uh, the third picture is concerned which is 3.jpg I'm gonna uh, right click on the third frame and I'm gonna place it okay now doing so and shows that all the three pictures are actually placed on three separate frames on their individual layers cool so I hope everything is uh, pretty clear so far okay uh, as far as uh, these buttons are concerned next and prev I don't need to place them anywhere they will be shown on all the three uh, frames okay but what I need to do is I need to attach uh, uh, some action script to it also before that I need to make sure let me close the alliance panel I don't need it anymore let me make sure 
that the buttons have a separate overlay okay a separate overlay let me drag this box out here so what i've done is i've created a separate overlay for the next or png button see the you know the i want to change the over state and let's see how i actually do that let me click uh, out here in uh, where you see outline on the next uh, button plus sign okay so this image next.png is for the um, up state or the normal state okay and this next.png is for the over state so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this next.png uh, and have make sure that the tint box is open if you don't see the tint box or the tint uh, dialog box you can go to windows and bring it up right so i'm going to go to alpha i'm going to say custom i'm going to drop the alpha to 50 percent for the normal state or the uh, up state okay so have a look out here it's actually lost the alpha this one is at full alpha okay but that's only for the up state i'm not going to change the uh, over state right similarly i'm going to select the left button okay and uh, likewise i'm going to drop the alpha for this one as well to a 50 percent cool now both the buttons have actually lost the alpha if i were to test the movie now in fact before testing the movie let me let me close the tin box up i don't need the tin box anymore uh, i should go where you see scene one okay and on the very first frame right click go down to movie control and uh, insert stop pattern pattern out there that will ensure that the playhead will not rush from the first to the second second to the third picture right now i should save it up and i can test it so file a test in flash player all right so people the buttons are not functional so far okay but as you can see uh, this button is actually uh, you know it's working the way i want but not the one on the left let me just check why okay see this is the one on the left and uh, prep button okay i think right 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 I, I made a mistake out here for the prep button i needed to say has a separate overstate right this is the way i should have actually gone and for the overstate let me ensure that the this is the overstate let me bring up the tint box once again where's the tint box there it is okay it's a complete 100 that's uh, the alpha is a complete 100 now it should be fine okay let me save and test it again so let's go down to test in switch player okay right nope it's, it's still not working the way i actually want it let me check why okay for the prep button this is the uh up state and this is the over state hmm right let me get the tint box up tint okay this should be a 50 percent that is for the up state or the normal state right and for the over state should be a hundred percent which it is let me save and test again cool right so uh, looks looks all fine to me now 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 that i've actually placed these buttons i need to breathe fire into these buttons i need to uh, uh, you know have the uh, script ready to uh, make these buttons functional as and as i said i also need to make sure that it's a key control as well i would want to press the right arrow and the left arrow keys to advance and go back to the previous pictures let's see um, let's adopt a shortcut people what I'll do is I'll go to the earlier file that I created and I'll just pull up the uh, action script from there so this was the earlier file that I created let me open it up for you okay so what I'm gonna do is in fact uh, I have it copied uh, I have it copied out here I have actually copied it out here 
onto this uh, <coughs> you know it's a small uh, notepad so what I can do is let me close this file up okay which brings the file that we were working upon the reconstruction file okay and now let me now this bit of script okay let me copy it up and let this is for the prep button and let me show you how to actually place the script and then I'll actually explain the script to you let me click on this layer where it says prep.png will ensure that this button gets selected which is on the, the left hand side and then let me hit the script button and let me right click and say paste right I'll come back to the script and next people what I'll do is I'll go back to the layout I'll click on the next button let me get the script up okay and then let me select this bit of code let me right click let me say copy and hit the script button and just drop the script for the other button right now let me explain the script as I said we'll, we'll go back to the script it says on release basically now the script is actually attached to the next.png button okay it says on release so when somebody actually releases the button or where you have this comma it actually means or on a key press which key the right key okay you can actually you know hit a, hit uh, the right word like this make sure that the cursor is blinking and you can actually change the key but I'm happy to keep it at right okay so when somebody actually hits releases the the mouse button or hits that button or hits the right arrow key let's see what I actually need uh, done I have declared a variable current frame the type is a number and I made it equal to root dot current frame so basically it will pull up the current frame number on which frame it is and then I've used enough conditional which actually checks if the current frame is less than three remember people we have three frames one two and three uh, respectively, uh, respectively for the three pictures if it is actually less than three which means if it is one or two then I would want the um, the play had to move on to the next frame and stop there otherwise else I would want it to go back to the very first frame so if the current frame is one and somebody hits the right arrow key I would want it to loop back to the very first frame very very cool similarly let's check the script for the prep button so on release of the button or on the press of the left arrow key uh, again I'm storing uh, the variable current frame I'm declaring a variable current frame and it's actually storing the you know the the current frame where the playhead is right now okay and we are checking if the current frame is greater than one so if as long as it's two or three I would want it to go to the previous frame and stop there otherwise I would want it to go to the third frame or the third picture All right so this ensures you see that the looping happens very smoothly cool so let me save things up <coughs> let me go to the layout and now uh, everything should be working uh, exactly the way I want it so let me say file and let me say test in uh, flash player and there you go so that's the left button people this is the right button okay and now let me advance using the right arrow key or the left arrow key on my keyboard and it's working to perfection so people I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, learn something this is my first uh, swish max for tutorial people um, I hope that you'll come back for more and I hope to make uh, a few more too and uh, again uh, before I actually sign off and terminate this tutorial I would like to tell you it's an unsung hero uh, its capabilities are awesome and uh, um, I find it uh, a very strong contender in fact I would say if, if there are some certain basic tasks to be done hands down Swish Max is a lot better than Flash Pro whether Adobe likes it or not for basic tasks it's a lot better to learn it's a lot better to teach it's a lot better to use and the effects are a lot more dramatic you have a good day guys bye bye peace